What have you created over the last 12 months? This is usually a question that we reserve for December when we're looking back over the prior year, but I was just doing a clarity call with somebody and we take time, I take time to have you look back over the past year and even further back sometimes and take an honest look at why you haven't created what you wanted to create. And then from that place, we do the really fun thing of looking forward and we envision a year from now what your heart's desire truly is. And we look at that from a place of pure potential and possibility. And I wanna share with you that this time last year, April of 2020, I was making one of the biggest decisions of my life <laughs> as far as my career went. I was deciding whether or not to spend the most money I'd ever spent to join a mastermind to grow my coaching practice and my business. And I knew that I couldn't make the decision, the right decision for me from the person I was then, the Jill of April, 2020. I had to make that decision from the person I wanted to be in April of 2021. And I'm so grateful that I did. I'm so grateful that I trusted myself because over the last year, I totally revamped my business. I totally let go of, I started doing this even prior to a year ago, but, but it really this last year, let go of in-person classes, workshops, my day retreats, my destination retreats, uh, and, and released everything other than one-on-one -on -one coaching which I love so much. And I've concepted and hosted more than 20, 21 Creative Oasis masterclasses, challenges, deep dives, and presentations. I have created over 27 of these Magic Action Monday videos. I have maintained a steady roster of 15 to 20 clients. I more than doubled my income from 2019 to 2020 and created a six-figure business. And I did all that without uh, without giving up or at the expense of my emotional, physical, and creative well-being. So I wanna share that because the Jill of April 2020 had no idea exactly how I was gonna do any of that, <laughs> how that would work, but I believed it was possible and I made the decision from the place of possibility. And I wanna share a story of somebody that I met this weekend who had a similar kind of experience, I think. I, I was honored to get to hear the artist Kamiko Johnson give her artist talk. She has a, a show up right now at Sonny House Gallery in Carrollton. Uh, that is owned by Missy Burton. And at 75 years young, which sounds like a cliche until you meet Kamiko, and then you will know why I say this. She's the, one of the most pure energetic spirits I've ever met. And she has spent the last year since she was first asked to stay home from COVID painting pretty much nonstop. And she finds herself a year later, not with one gallery show, but two. <laughs> she has another show at Pencil, um, Pencil on Paper Gallery that's owned by Dr. Valerie Gillespie and her husband, Emmanuel. So Kamiko said during her talk that she had no idea when she started painting that a year from then she would have two shows. And in fact, that was her first artist talk. And, I'm, and so it really inspired me to ask the question, you know, what have you done? What have you created this year? Have you created the things that you wanted to create? Or have you told yourself you had to wait for a perfect time or another time? And now I invite you to look forward to next year. Look forward to April of 2022. Where do you want to be? What do you want to have accomplished? And I want you to take your next, decide on what your next small step is going to be based on what you want a year from now. And I invite you to book a Creative Oasis Clarity Call with me so we can spend an hour really looking at what that is, what you want to create by April of 2022, and then how we could work together week by week, step by step to make that happen. So the last thing I want to, by the way, the links to Creative Oasis Clarity Calls are either down below or in my bio, depending on where you're seeing this video. But the last thing I want to share with you is I also did another fun thing this weekend in addition to getting to go to Sonny House and Pencil on Paper Gallery. And I'm going to put all those links below so you can meet and follow all these amazing creative humans. Um, but I had a photo shoot, another photo shoot with Vonda Kay. And she and I thought it would be fun because she has been doing my personal brand photography since 2018. She's been 
photographing me, <laughs> taking photos longer than that, but really doing personal brand since then. And so we thought it would be fun to have a conversation about the collaboration of um, her as my photographer, me as her coach. And so we're going to go live this Wednesday on Instagram at 530 Central and you'll want to join us. It's going to be a fun, interesting conversation. You'll get some tips on how to creatively use your photographs for your social media, um, how to take some of the best images, and then also kind of what the creative coaching relationship relationship can look like. So that's it. That's all for today. Thanks for listening. And as always, this is shared with love, light, and the very true belief that you are going to be a happier, healthier, more fulfilled, creative human. And the world is going to be a better, brighter place when you say yes to your creative callings. Okay. Happy Magic Action Monday. Bye.